Were it not for the Rio Grande River, New Mexico's largest city would be bone dry and uninhabitable without a drop of water to drink. But 90 million years ago, the land beneath Albuquerque was a tropical swamp. During the Cretaceous, sea level began to rise, slowly flooding the interior of North America. In time, the Arctic Ocean joined the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, creating a shallow inland sea that split the continent in two. On the southwestern shore of the sea, cool summer breezes and warm winter rain nurtured the seeds of a different kind of forest. For the first time, ancient stands of conifers and palms were joined by broadleaf trees like sycamores, magnolias, and poplars, along with a new crop of dinosaurs that had never been seen before. This is Zuniceratops, the first dinosaur with horns and frills to appear in North America. Although they're small now, about the size of a cow, in a few million years, their descendants will be four times as big. Until then, these docile plant eaters need protection. Where a herd of Zuniceratops goes, danger can't be far away. Lurking about are predators, and now they're more cunning than ever. Salurosaurs are too little to be a threat to Zuniceratops. But nearby, what looks like a flock of weird birds is actually a band of dromaeosaurs already lunching on a carcass. The odor of a fresh kill lures an uninvited guest. The intruder is a loner out for a free meal. The carcass is carefully guarded, and the leader of the pack, the alpha male, is in no mood to share. A dromaeosaur, or raptor, is the smartest, quickest, and most dangerous dinosaur alive. Alone, or in a pack, it's well equipped to deliver a lethal blow. The nasty claw in its foot works like a switchblade. A tendon attached to the calf muscle pulls it into the attack position. Its legs are strong, yet lightweight for speed. Its tail is stiffened by bony rods for balance. And its arms and hands are extra long for grappling with prey. 
good eyesight, a keen sense of smell, and a big brain make the raptor a dominant predator. The escape from the pack was a close call. To keep on running is playing it smart, but the raptor's not out of the woods yet. Something's hiding in the bushes, but it's too large to elude detection. The raptor's leery. These are the claws of a carnivore. They look lethal. But looks can be deceiving. It may have the claws of a killer, but its long neck and small head belong to a plant eater. This is Nothronychus. The raptor's never seen a dinosaur like this before. Is it a predator? Or is it prey? No other creature in the world looks like a half-plucked turkey and walks like a pot-bellied bear. Still, an oddball can be dangerous. Raptors seldom make mistakes. But Nothronychus is rare in North America. Like Zoonoceratops, its ancestors also migrated from Asia. Therizinosaurs, such as Nothronychus, were once streamlined predators until they evolved into plant eaters, unlike the raptors.